What's going on YouTube? This is your host Eric Jones with Eclipse Entertainment Presents. Today we're talking about precious metals and why you should have them. Uh, as we may know that there are a lot of stores and stuff like that closed down throughout the country. Uh, a lot of people see that as like, oh well, it's really not a big deal. I mean, Walmart, uh, Sears, and all these companies closing mass stores and they think that they're because they're major corporations that it's not a big problem. Uh, but what most people don't realize is, is that when big companies like that shut down a multitude of stores throughout the country. There's a lot of companies that get impacted by those shutdowns. Uh, I mean, if you think about it, when you walk into like, let's say Macy's or something like that, you gotta think about who's laying those towels on the floors, who are making those racks for the clothes, <clears throat> posters, uh, kiosks, all these things, cash registers, a lot of this stuff gets built. People think like cash registers and stuff like that are just built in one factory. Now those come from multitude of different factories for different parts and that keeps us flowing as an economy uh, depending on stuff like that uh, when you walk into those retail stores you just got to think about that aspect so when you shut down that many stores that's a lot of people losing business throughout the country not just Sears they don't they don't throw that in there when you watch the mainstream news they tend to leave out the big uh, problem when it comes to that uh, stores closing down anything like that but you can't sit here and tell me that the economy is doing good when in fact it's not really doing all that well. A lot of this money that's been pumped into the stock market is quantitative easing. If you guys don't know what that is, that's where the uh, the Federal Reserve just prints more cash and uh, pay off uh, a lot of their own debts or whatnot there with that cash they print out. So it just makes the economy look like it's doing good, but really it's just pushing us more into debt. Uh, what not there is destroying the country uh, with printing more paper money like that what not there when, when, once we went off the gold standard and silver standard and all that stuff everything pretty much went down here after that uh, and if I left a comment or actually I left it down in the lower thirds of the last video of the Patriot Seeds about a fiat currencies cash systems they tend to fail after 27 years and they say I think it was like 30 to 40 years uh, that cash value actually goes down to pretty much 98% loses its value. So uh, we're pretty much in that phase now, uh, pretty much out throughout the world, China, uh, Russia, a lot of countries over there on that side of the, uh, the world are turning from the dollar. So uh, we need to pay attention to what's going on with that because the only reason our currency still has a lot of power throughout the world is because uh, it's a uh, petrol dollar and the petrol dollar if you don't know what that is that's where uh, other countries if they want to purchase oil they have to get American dollars and grab that oil so you can't just purchase oil uh, in like let's say Chinese yuan or something like that or Canadian dollars you have to convert your money uh, to American dollars so that gives us a lot of power throughout the world but like I said a lot of those countries are starting to turn away from the dollar uh, so I think it's best that uh, when the dollar crashes or if it ever does crash I mean it's probably gonna crash obviously eventually uh, the way things are looking but uh, you might want to buy precious metals and stuff along those lines where if it's gold or silver uh, because the banks uh, I don't know if you guys realize this but back in 2008 when the bank systems fell uh, <clears throat> They did this like they signed this little bailout thingy or bail-in plan. Like if their uh, con uh, the banks were starting to fall, they would have to go through Congress to get money, like they did back in 2008. They can just take the money that's already in the bank, which is your money. So uh, <clears throat> I think it's wise if you keep your money in the bank, if you need to pay bills. But with that bail-in plan, uh, what the banks did is if the economy does crash, they can take all your money from your savings or your checkings or your 401ks. They can keep all that money to keep them got themselves afloat. So pretty much that money in the bank is not yours. So if you want to protect your pocket book and your assets I would advise you to uh, try to keep in some money or cash on hand and silver and gold on hand uh, if you just imagine if the economy was to crash and the dollar was to lose its value uh, a lot of people are probably gonna run towards silver before they run to gold because I'm pretty sure you viewers out there watching right now can't afford fifteen hundred dollars uh, for an ounce of gold I mean I can afford it but I wouldn't recommend me spending it my wife would probably kill me if I take that uh, Avenue so I stay with silver I have a little gold but I pretty much predominantly stay with silver but if you think about it if the everyday American can't afford gold they're gonna run to silver and silver will skyrocket for more people running to silver and when you buy silver make sure you buy it tangible make sure you can buy it to where you're holding it in your home uh, or in your safe or not there don't leave it in the bank because they can take that as well <clears throat> I mean telling you right now if I bought all right when I started buying silver it was like at 14 bucks let's say if I bought 14 dollars uh, worth of, uh, an ounce of silver let's say I bought 100 ounces of silver <clears throat> so I'm gonna do 14 times 100 equals that's 1400 dollars that I spent 400 ounces of silver at 14 dollars now let's say silver just went up to 30 dollars so let's go uh, 30 times 100 that's $3,000 and that's that's my silver just sitting in the safe you know 
if it goes, it goes down, and it goes up, no matter what, you're gonna be losing or you're gonna be gaining. But in those situations where the economy does fail, uh, you will be making money with just your silver sitting in the safe. Uh, the, I don't know if you guys realize this, but JP Morgan has purchased more silver than anyone in the history of the world has ever, <clears throat> ever done or held in their possession and uh, why is he doing this we know jp morgan and the rothschilds and all those big families like that pretty much dominate the world stage and all that stuff so i would advise you guys to pay attention to what these guys are doing uh, when it comes to protecting their uh, assets because uh, we know china's uh, hoarding a lot of gold and we know the morgans are holding a lot of silver so uh, let's pay attention to what they're doing and let's do the same thing because i mean i don't know if you guys realize this but down in venezuela uh how bad it is out there uh they were saying like an ounce of silver can buy you a month's worth of food i mean you can't even do that with a dollar right now silver costs 14 bucks imagine you spending 14 dollars and then the economy goes to crap that 14 dollars well, one ounce of silver can last you a whole month for a lot of food uh, that's you can't beat that and they were also saying that an ounce of gold can buy you a house Come on now, let's be real. You, I mean, you can store all the food you want, you can get all the seeds and all that stuff you want too, because that stuff obviously is gonna help you in the long run, but at the same time, you wanna protect your assets. And yeah, and uh, I would advise you guys to stay away from paper silver, uh, that stuff you get from the stock market, that little paper stuff, because at the end of the day, that's not real silver in circulation, that's just a paper it's promising that that's what they will give you if, the, uh, if you wanted to take your silver out. But like I said, if the economy was to fail, I can assure you would not get those paper assets because there is not that much silver in circulation, and that's what they're saying with the paper bond market and all that stuff like that so stay away from that upside down pyramid scheme and stick to tangible assets that you can get like i have here i have a uh, different ounces of silver bars you can get i get my silver from atmex uh, that's the place I trust from. I buy from the primary market. I don't buy from secondary markets. I don't buy spotted or anything like that. I buy just straight primary. So I pay the full amount. I mean, you can pay however you want to do it or whatever you can afford. But like I said, right now, silver is probably around, uh, let me see. Silver is at $17.63 and it's fluctuating between $18 and $16 at the moment right now. So uh, like I said, $14 I bought mine for and we're at uh, $17.63. I'm still at a game per ounce of silver that I have. All right, that being said, I think it's pertinent that you guys buy silver gold uh, keep cash on hand because like I said earlier the banks have these new bailing laws back in 2008 that they signed so they won't have to go through Congress uh, to get money from them they can just take it from right out of the banks from your 401ks your check-ins your savings uh, to keep themselves afloat and by keeping you down so that's pretty much putting the boot on the back of your neck so you guys need to be smart uh, let's just take some cash out and keep cash on hand and whenever we can let's buy silver and gold to protect our pocketbooks for the future just in case there is some kind of depression or some kind of economic collapse we won't get hit too hard. Uh, Trump said this when he first got elected that we're probably gonna go through some kind of uh, depression or whatever he said somewhere along those lines. So it's gonna be pretty hard out there for people who are not prepared. So I think it's best that you guys get prepared while you still can, because like the good Lord said above, it's best to prepare in the good times for the bad. And when you store away food, you store away something for your neighbors as well. I'd like to thank you guys for watching Eclipse Entertainment Presents, where we bring you entertainment, news reviews with a kick. Till next time, God bless.